How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We have to take a look at the market today because it is down after we crashed yesterday. We fell down about 3% on the NASDAQ and we do have some big news in crypto and in the stock market here today. So we have to go through a lot including why Phantom is pumping 25% today. Now, if you don't mind hitting the subscribe button underneath the video, I also want to thank BuySwap, but we're going to talk more about that later. Now, I am out of the country. Um, that's why I'm posting at a weird time and it's so bright here still, but maybe I'll talk more about that in future videos. Let me know in the comment section if you want to know where I am and where I'm heading, but the time difference is going to be something of a factor uh, over the next couple weeks. Now, we had the Fed speak yesterday, and they are raising rates by 75 basis points, which is what we expected, but they said that they're a far way away from talking about pausing rate hikes. So we still have to go through a lot of raises. It was really hawkish compared to what a lot of people thought it would be. A lot of people were thinking that maybe we'd start to hear them hear the Fed speak about uh, slowing down or pausing the rate hikes just to see everything catch up because we know they are delayed after they raise rates. It does take a while to actually affect the economy. Now, with that in mind, we did have the DXY pump up. We're up near 113, which is close to the top. We were right around 115 recently, but still 113, which is causing the the overall market to fall down. We also have the 10 year going up to 4.19, which it was around 4.3 recently, then fell back down. And that's when we saw a pump in the market. And again, the NASDAQ fell down 3.36%. The pre-market is still down here today with the NASDAQ down about 1%. So why is all this happening? Well, again, it comes back to the fact that People think that the Fed's going to continue to raise rates, raise rates, which affects how much uh, these risk-free returns are, like on the 10-year Treasury or a two-year Treasury. You can get a higher risk-free return when the rates are higher, and it also affects stocks uh, by affecting the companies because if you have a lot of debt and you have to restructure it, we're seeing this a lot with Bitcoin miners and a lot of other companies too, honestly. But uh, those just come to mind because if you do have to restructure it. The fact is you're going to have to pay a much higher rate to be able to do so. So a lot of companies are in kind of a bad spot. Well, we'll talk though about what companies actually kind of do well in a cycle like this. And I also want to talk about crypto, specifically Phantom and another crypto that's actually moving up on this news and Bitcoin because Bitcoin barely fell after the Fed rate hike yesterday. So we'll hit that, but I do want to thank BuySwap. Now, before we go any further, I want to talk to you about BuySwap. BuySwap is a great DEX on BNB chain and has one of the lowest fees in DeFi with just 0.2%. They're actually really well known with 320,000 followers on Twitter, including KuCoin and Binance. And they just announced a multi-reward pool program. Basically, you stake your BSW and you trade uh, with some different pairs on BuySwap. And what you can do is you can get BSW, Wrap BNB, and BUSD. I'll leave more links to this underneath the video too so that you can learn more about this, but this has a really high APY. You can also invite friends. You can get your referral link, invite the friends, and then earn crypto depending on what they earned and what they swap on BuySwap. BuySwap just renewed their exchange page, which makes it really easy to go and swap between different cryptos for a really cheap price. They also just got a strategic investment from Binance Labs, which I always like to see where the money goes and the money's going to buy swap right now. They also won that most valuable builder MVB2 award from BNB recently as well. And they have $10 million for BNB projects or IDO launches on BuySwap. And that's one of the reasons I like BuySwap so much is because they're continuously building in a bear market and they continuously try to bring in more projects, which makes it better for the investor and better for BuySwap in general. So definitely use the links underneath the video to learn more and use my link to get up to 50% fee returns on BuySwap. Special thanks to BuySwap for being a partner of the channel and let's get back to it. Now overall, there are some companies that will actually do well uh, throughout this cycle. So obviously the recession, any kind of future recession is gonna affect companies because people are just gonna have less money to spend and companies are gonna have less money to spend. So it will affect everyone. But companies that will make this through have strong balance sheets. That's something that you really have to pay attention to. Are they in a position where they can go through a cycle where there are high interest rates? Maybe 
companies that like big tech that have really strong cash positions that are high margin businesses that have sticky businesses, those companies will make it through just fine. Now, that doesn't mean that their price won't fall down in the short term because a lot of companies will have prices fall. But that's why I've talked the entire year about dollar cost averaging, because I do think that is the best way to get through this kind of market cycle, at least mentally. It will feel much better if you're just dollar cost averaging. Now, banks also typically do really well because there's a higher spread on what they give out versus what they make. Like when you think about how high the 10 year treasury is compared to what your bank pays you, right? They, these banks can make a lot more money and typically will do quite well, but they will have defaults as well. Uh, so you just have to pay attention to that going forward. I'm not going on my way to invest more into banks or anything like that right now. Now, at the looking at the overall crypto market, Bitcoin is down just a percent on the 24 hour, which honestly is pretty good. It pumped up, I believe, a little bit after the Fed rate hike, but then fell back down. That's not bad considering the Nasdaq's down four or five percent. Now, don't be surprised if we do see Bitcoin break through some supports uh, and fall back down pretty drastically just because the overall market's falling down. But I think a lot of people have just been through this. They have been accumulating and they're not really looking to sell just based on what we already know, which is that the Fed's going to continue to raise rates. Now, a couple other cryptos that are doing really well. BNB and Phantom. Phantom's further down on the list, but it is up significantly. Polygon also up significantly. So some of these altcoins are actually doing really, really well. So why is Phantom up? Well, first of all, they are up 25%, uh, 21% now, 25% just a few minutes ago. Well, Andre's back. Andre Con Con Coney? Let me know how you say that in the comment section. Coney, let me know if that's right. Uh, he is back. Now, he has really been a bedrock for Phantom. He's been working on them uh, just over the last month. He just came back, apparently, uh, in the last 24 hours. And if you remember a couple months ago, maybe it was longer than that by now, maybe it was like six months, it's hard to keep track now. But a while ago, we had Phantom drop in price significantly, it was like 30% plus in the night because he left. Now he is kind of like a king of DeFi. A lot of people look towards him and really appreciate what he does for the space. And when he left, there was a huge sell off. Now he came back and there's a lot of excitement around him coming back. Now, with that in mind, we still have fallen down a lot on Phantom since he left, just because the overall market's been down a lot. Phantom's gone from 40 cents to 27 cents uh, in the last three months, but it was even higher than that before. I mean, we're talking about a $3 cryptocurrency that's fallen down now 90 plus percent, but still, I think this is good for Phantom. We also have BNB going up pretty significantly too, with it up 3% on the last 24 hours. So why is that happening? Well, it's because Binance invested into, or maybe a CZ invested into Twitter. So he said recently they doesn't think that just Dogecoin and BNB should be introduced on Twitter uh, or BUSD because a lot of people think that BUSD will be the overall stable coin that Twitter uses. Doge will be another payment system and then maybe something like Bitcoin just because it's the biggest in the space. But CZ says that there should be other cryptocurrencies as well. He is, I think, probably one of the best stewards in crypto uh, and just one of the most responsible people in crypto. And He's pushing for them to adopt more cryptocurrencies. Now, uh, I think the reason BNB is up is just on the news that, you know, CZ invested in Twitter and this has been pushing them up and they've been holding really strong anyways. They're, they're a really top tier exchange, finances. So uh, I think that's part of the reason it's up. I'm not exactly sure why Polygon is up. I really like Polygon. I've said that in videos recently that I think it's a top layer two. Maybe it's because there's some news about Twitter using that as well. I'm not exactly sure, but I will do some digging uh, over the next day. Now, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video. Again, special thanks to BuySwap. There is a link underneath the video. And if you want some free stocks through Moomoo, you can use the link underneath the video as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.